These past months, I found myself not having the motivation to create content. And uh, maybe that's the reason why here on YouTube, you haven't seen me for a while. Um, not creating some content about, you know, Facebook ads and TikTok ads. And that's what you, you know, learned from me a couple of months or years ago. <laughs> I know I'm not alone. There are also other creators who struggle with consistently creating content. It's just easier said than done. Yesterday, I had a consultation call with someone who wants to run ads for for his you know, sales for the sales of his insurance. He just needs to have more people to to see more people um, inquiring about insurance and. I just told him, just create content. And I just realized there, oops, I was being hypocrite because I was not even consistent with my content. <laughs> I, I just have that struggle all the time, creating content that is consistent. And I've attempted to create systems that would be able to make it easier for me to publish content that's valuable to my audience. Um, consistently but then there was really this struggle let's talk about that struggle right now uh, what first siguro let's talk about what struggle means it refers to the challenges and difficulties that individuals face when trying to pursue something new or unfamiliar in my case I, I started creating content when I was in college um, when I was in university I was serious about it to the point na I even hired someone before to help me with, you know, video editing and all that stuff. That was the time also that, like, the peak uh, of my freelancing career, uh, doing media buying. That was before I launched another small business, a social enterprise called Pakasa Parel. So there was there was a time when I thought, well, I I am a digital marketer. Why not be present online and you know teach people about it, teach people what I learn also. At the same time so going back to struggle struggle is when we have that internal battle because we feel self-doubt you know uh, which actually can hinder our personal growth and progress uh, but it's very important for us to address uh, our struggle acknowledge our struggles so we can develop strategies to overcome them and make progress uh, to our goals now that's why I'm making this video because I wanna, I don't wanna bottle up all the struggles in my mind and just say it here, so I can finally put them in a video format or maybe in a podcast format and you know um, face it. <laughs> so let's talk about that struggle of inconsistency and how I woke up. For the past months, I was inconsistent again. Um, and one of one big reason is I was stuck with the idea that people knew me for my content about Facebook and TikTok ads and are not interested about me creating content about me making my own, uh, creating my own business or like developing and scaling it um, in a way that it will be sustainable. I want to share my journey about um, building a social enterprise, a small business of my own. And I'm afraid that if I change my typical content type, which is like the tutorial, Facebook ads, TikTok ads type, I will lose my followers. And by believing in this thought, I became inactive and the efforts of it are visible. I will be honest with you, a not enough clients, not enough leads that comes in. There are from, some, from time to time, but it's really not enough <laughs> and um, somehow my income decreased because of that um, I'm having frequent panic attacks because of anxiety and increasing self-doubt thinking that I'm not good enough and I don't deserve teaching other people I thought about that because I'm not good enough my only re reference for this is the low views yung papalit na papalit na views and Yun yung napansin ko. Um, that's why I thought maybe this type of content is not something that my audience wants. 
you might say that my basis for this doubt doesn't make sense. No? Yes, it doesn't. <laughs> as I realize now. But before, it does make sense because it is what was visible to my eyes and which was prevailing in my mind. Until one day I realized that sometimes our thoughts twist reality. And I haven't noticed that for a while now. But the world has its own way of reminding me of the impact I have made to other people. So for example, from time to time I just, you know, read new comments here on YouTube channel about how my free tutorials have helped them uh, build their own businesses, get clients, grow their income. Uh, not to mention how my paying clients also made significant leaps in scaling their businesses w with my guidance. Um, the same happened to my own social enterprise, Bakas. Uh, when I felt so down that maybe you know the business would fail, um, there, there were some reminders coming from our community. We're constantly reminded of how our customers love our products and the cost we were bringing through the brand. And even recently, in a program I joined in the US, where our mentors and other entrepreneurs validated the idea and saw its growth potential. And even recently, no, I was able to, to have my first official pitch about my social enterprise and they really validated it. My point here is really, it's normal na that, that we have these doubts in our minds and it's important also that we will always be reminded of our why. So the reason why I started sharing my knowledge and wisdom publicly is I want other people to also try business and you know try building a small business of their own even if they're still in college or kahit bata pa sila or maybe they also have a corporate job, right? And that is to help the average young Filipino like me build and grow their own small business in order to become independent. That's why I named my podcast after Young Independent Podcast. But I'm talking about business also and marketing sometimes. So, going around these thoughts now i th there are some books that i figured agree with me so there was this book called uh, titled followed by amanda bucci uh, she said that content creators should use the opportunity to create content that develop their true authentic self so this means to create content that fits the content creators own interests so mahirap kasi yung parang nag create tayo for other people instead of for ourselves. So, and from this I realized that I think I need to create content also for myself and not just to please other people. This will keep me creating what I love and enjoy what I do. So, there's this another book reference uh, from the book Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion by Robert Shelby. I learned there the principles of persuasion where uh, which are critical for making people interested in your solution or product, even if they weren't initially seeking it out. So I realized that one purpose of marketing is not only to look for people who are already thinking about your solution, but also make other people become interested. So marketing is not just about reaching the interested, but also making other people become interested. So in order for me to build a strong personal brand, one that will help me grow my businesses, I need to build interest among my current audience and not just find the already interested. So this may seem like a tough job to do, but it's what building trust uh, requires. Uh, I know it takes time, but it doesn't mean it will not happen eventually. I actually included some applications of these influence insights uh, to my Facebook ads course and also Media Buyer Academy. These are paid courses and programs and uh, I'm currently making some updates on these courses I made and if you enroll to them right now uh, you will benefit from those updates very soon I hope to see you there that was just a quick promotion now you may be thinking that I will really lose some of my audience if I will not stick to the content I already created yes I may uh, while shifting my content focus may lead to some followers dropping off 
maybe you would unfollow or unsubscribe to this channel because of this video. But true engagement and growth, I believe, come from attracting an audience that resonates with your authentic self. So for example, for me, for me to create more content, I need my personal brand to be aligned with what I do as a person. I'm not just a media buyer. I'm not just someone who runs Facebook ads and TikTok ads. I am someone who, who grows businesses. I am someone who have my own business and actually doing those ads for myself. And right now, I'm, I'm, like, the, I'm like the one-man marketing team in, in my social enterprise right now. And I want to share that journey and I want to share my realizations. I want to share my learning to more people. And that's why this video, by the way, is aligned to my newsletter, which I send twice a week right now. Yes, I was, I'm that aggressive right now. So two times a week, I double dose you with learning and, and uh, new things I learned or updates or trends. Um, anything about marketing and entrepreneurship, I share that with you for free. Uh, there's a link in the description. Uh, that's a weekly newsletter beyond business. Uh, by creating content that aligns with my own interests and passions, I have the opportunity to attract a more dedicated and engaged audience who genuinely connects with your message. Quality over quantity is key when it comes to building a loyal following. To summarize my points in this video or podcast, uh, here are four points. <laughs> First, build for yourself, not just to please other people. It might take some time, but eventually you will encounter people with the same problem and interest as you. And marketing is not just about reaching the interested, but also making other people become interested. So your tribe will eventually find you. Just keep creating. And it is okay to try while you are scared. You will be amazed how your self-doubt can turn to self-confidence just by taking action consistently. And practice self-compassion and understand that taking a break doesn't mean you've stopped your journey. This is a message for myself. <laughs> it's okay to pause. It's a crucial part of growth. Just as sleep is vital for survival. So it's okay to rest sometimes, but don't quit. Remember, pausing is not stopping. It's simply taking a moment to gather strength, gain perspective, and prepare for the next leap forward. I hope this is... I know this is like another comeback for me. I... I I attempted so many times to come back and you know create more content but I hope this is something that would be more you know uh, sustainable in the future I bet most of you who reach this point are also struggling with building or scaling your business and if you happen to be a small business owner earning at least 200,000 monthly or 4,000 US dollars and want to scale your growth through social media I still have Several slots remaining for my one-on-one -on -one coaching program. It depends on one, what month did you watch this video, but I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So let me know. Uh, send me an email. Uh, I have my email in the description. And till next time. Again, I have uh, a course or program for aspiring media buyers, Media Buyer Academy, and also Facebook Ads course. TikTok Ads course is still uh, in progress. Uh, it took some time for me to finish that because of several commitments, but yeah, hopefully soon. See you next time. Again, there is a newsletter version of this, link in bio or in the description below. See ya.